good boy. Okay. Calm down. Okay. Okay. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Spring here in western Pennsylvania. Uh, woods are starting to turn green a little bit. Spring turkey is going to be here soon. And I'm out here with Jack, as usual, just doing what we do, walking in the woods. And I wanted to take time to talk about this uh, pack by Hill People Gear. It's their Terra Humara pack. It's a small pack, but I found it to be very versatile. I've had it for years, and I've been wanting to do a, a video about this pack. And uh, now seemed like a good time. Right now it's seen duty as a, a vehicle emergency bag or a get home bag. So if you're interested in seeing more about this Hill People Gear Terra Humara pack and what I have inside, stick around. If you're not familiar with Hill People Gear, their slogan is real use gear for backcountry travelers. And the stuff is, is it's made for use. It's, it's designed well. You can tell it was designed by people who spent time in the field. It's, uh, the construction is solid. It's made in America. Even the raw materials used to make it are made in America. Uh, they're big believers in uh, personal liberty and personal freedom. So uh, they, they sell a variety of packs and bags and other things. Uh, check out, check out the Hill People Gear's website. Also on their YouTube channel, uh, they share a lot of information about uh, in the field and, and just all around a cool company. This video, uh, I could spend a lot of time on this video and, and, and probably this topic of get home bags, people split hairs and people get upset and everybody has a different opinion on what needs to be in a get home bag, even what a get home bag is. So before I, I get into the pack, I wanna describe or define what I want from a get home bag to get me home. <laughs> Um, it's not supposed to be a, a, a pack that I grab and I can go and survive in the woods for a month. That's not what I want this bag to do. This is more of a, if I can't, if I have to leave my vehicle, I can get home. I want to get home fast. I want to get home light. And this bag fits that. It's not very heavy. It's very comfortable to carry. And it strikes a good balance between uh, the tactical world and outdoorsy stuff. It's not, you know, there's no molly on it. Uh, the colors are muted, you know, earth tone colors, but it just, it's a, it's just a, it fits a, a certain niche that, that I like. Uh, I don't want all mollied up stuff and, and I don't want uh, bright fluorescent green packs. I, you know, I'd like to have more muted uh, earth tone colors. And that's what I want from a bag. I don't want to camp out and, and make dehydrated meals. I can go a long time without food, not so long without shelter and not as long without water, if we remember our rules of threes, but I just want something very minimalistic. I work only a few miles from my home, but if you're into preparedness, you know that a lot of things can go sideways and happen. Um, most of my play and most of the, you know, whether it's uh, fishing, hunting, kayaking, uh, spending time in the woods is within 20 miles of where I live. So I'm not, uh, I'm not in the need of a big giant bag. That's going to depend on your circumstances. It's going to depend on your environment. It's going to uh, depend on your skill set. It's also going to depend on your physical fitness. You know, you have to be able to carry this bag. Uh, it's funny because I see guys that have these 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 bags in their vehicles. I doubt if they could carry them a quarter mile. Uh, so just be wise whenever you're putting together something uh, for emergencies or something that uh, to get you home. You have to be able to carry it and you have to be able to use the things that are in it. So quickly, I'm going to try to. I know this could be two videos, but I'm going to try to bounce back and forth between what's in the bag and, and the bag itself. Uh, the first thing is uh, on the bottom I have this wool blanket and this is just a surplus wool blanket and it's really nice because you can put uh, a big uh, poncho or uh, whatever you want to put down here. I live in a cold weather climate so I chose a uh, just a wool blanket and I roll it up in there. This is not shock cord, it's just a uh, paracord and at first I thought that I would rather have shock cord 
But actually, I, I prefer the paracord. It uh, works well, and so there's storage on the bottom of the pack. Moving up, the Hill People Gear utilizes a compression uh, type of system, where on their other packs you can uh, attach things to the outside, uh, compression sacks, stuff sacks, and use these buckles to cinch down your load. And actually, this whole pack. The harness, this yoke system that they use, which is really comfortable, it's, it's awesome. This comes off and this whole bag can be like a, a pocket that you can attach to their other uh, larger packs. So I'm going to start over here. I have a, an REI bottle, a bicycle bottle, and that REI bottle is going to get replaced. Um, they're getting too involved in politics instead of just selling outdoor equipment. But, you can put a bicycle bottle here, and it holds nicely, and it's just readily accessible. And the stern strap is adjustable. The It's supposed to carry uh, in your lumbar region, and this yoke makes it really comfortable. You can move without uh, feeling bound up, and this is all adjustable. The compression straps... I have a, a 6x8 tarp for shelter items. I have some gloves and a rain jacket, which acts as another uh, layer of, uh, you have to forgive me, this is all filthy. Me and Jack just came in from the woods. I wanted to film this whole video in the woods, but uh, things kept happening. <laughs> it's uh, stuff like this. Uh, Jack has a giant... So that's, I ran out of uh, daylight and it was really nice, so I just kept walking in the woods. But the main body of the bag of the pack just has a zipper down the center. And it's just one big pocket. On the outside, I have attached to the compression straps. This is a, a Leatherman Super Tool with a, a flashlight and I have a fire starter in here. I have a trauma kit. In the one pocket and this is for you know this is severe trauma this has uh, tourniquets uh, pressure bandages chest seals shears um, stuff for severe trauma stop bleeding hemostatic agents the whole nine yards I can fit that in one pocket and in the other pocket I have a 40 ounce uh, clean canteen so on the outside of the bag we had some uh, first aid items water shelter items uh, a multi-tool light. On the inside there's one zipper and it's a really sturdy zipper, paracord pulls, and I've had this really stuffed where I would, I mean really straining these seams here and everything has just held up great. So inside I have a uh, wigwam watch cap. Remember I live in a cold weather environment I have 50 feet of bank line. Uh, this might seem strange, but uh, I have safety glasses. And the reason why, if you're if you're a hunter and you're walking into a tree stand and it's dark and you're either using no light or low light, uh, it's easy to catch uh, a branch in your eye. So if I ever have to use this bag if things go sideways, I'm walking in uh, through the woods because most of the time I'm not going to be walking on a major uh, highway or uh, I want to kind of stay out of sight. These glasses are a great idea. Some toilet paper and some hand sanitizer. Amora Bushcraft Black. Binoculars, cheap ones. Life straw. Cotton bandana. This is a Hidden Woodsman uh, fire bag. 
And inside I have some items to start a fire, mostly big lighters, a candle, some fat wood, uh, some more hand sanitizer, and uh, some wet fire. Um, just stuff to start a fire if I have to, but I really don't. I want to keep moving. If I'm using this bag, I want to get home because home is where I want to be. Home is where I have um, all my supplies, all the comforts I need. So I don't want to be camping out. I want to, this is to get me home. A Gerber saw, and it's, uh, wow, it's tight. Gerber saw, in case I did have to uh, make a fire and cut some wood. Some wool socks. In this bag, this is a Hidden Woodsman Tinder bag, I have non-cotton uh, base layer, like a polyester, spandex, nylon blend, polypro stuff. So I have top and a bottom, and this is to add more shelter and warmth if I need it. I always try to dress for the weather, but um, you never know when you're going to need some extra layers. This is a buff. This can be used as a mask uh, to, you know, there's, if there's any reason I would not want to breathe in stuff, um, this is going to help. It's also uh, just a good uh, thing to have. These are, uh, these buffs, especially if you're a bald guy, these are great. I have a, a map of my area. Uh, this is a pretty cool map because it's it's very small. It just folds like this. It's one half of the state, there's the other half of the state. It folds up. It's uh, kind of tear-proof, waterproof. Uh, and this is also a map of the uh, National Forest because I'm there a lot. So some maps. Some paracord. This is a Hidden Woodsman Possibles bag, and inside that, I have a uh, Silva Ranger 2 compass that I can use with my maps. I have another bandana. I have some electrolytes. A couple spare magazines. Headlamp. Small stream light micro, some duct tape, emergency bivy, another shelter item, emergency blanket, another shelter item, a boo boo kit with uh, everything from ibuprofen, alcohol wipes, and other things, spare batteries. There's padding in the rear of the of the pack, and it runs horizontally. And I think so. It bends. Um, some people have complained that it doesn't have uh, something to keep it off your back. And if you're carrying this all day and it's really hot and you have it stuffed, you probably will sweat. But uh, it doesn't uh, seem to bother me. I'll, I'll carry this around in the woods with me and, and it works just fine. There's a lot of points to lash on other things. And there's also a sleeve here that you could probably put a hydration bladder. I ended up putting a... A trash bag which I can use for uh, stuffing with leaves and making a shelter item and I have a 10 by 10 piece of uh, plastic that I can also use as shelter. Uh, it packs a little tighter than a tarp. This is the Terra Humara pack stripped down without anything on it. Just the yoke and the compression straps, the, the bottom here and the, and the zipper. It's very light, and I think that's why Hill People Gear named it the Terra Humara Pack. The Terra Humara is a uh, tribe of, of people in Mexico. They're known for their running prowess. They can run like 200 miles in a day. They've been known to go 400 miles in two days. It's insane that they, I mean, it's incredible. And I think that uh, this is supposed to be a, like a light option for people if they want to trail run or just people who wanted to go uh, carrying less and going farther. And it's, it's a small pack, but it's very versatile. 
with the compression straps, with the side pockets, uh, we're able to put things on the bottom. In, and with this yoke, even if you do stuff it, and even though it doesn't have a frame, it carries well. It carries, I mean, it's, it's unbelievably comfortable. The Hill People Gear yoke system that they use on all their packs, just incredible. So, uh, some people might wonder why I don't have uh, food items in my pack. And the main reason is, is like I said, I'm 20 miles from my house. Um, even if it takes me two days to get home, I can go two days without, um, without eating a meal. I can, um, if I'm ever in a situation where I'm really using a get home bag to get home, um, the adrenaline's going, I'm going to be amped up. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be trying to get home. So I'm going to be using, I have electrolytes, I have water. Uh, I keep the water bottles full. I have ways of purifying water or at least uh, to drink water. Um, if I had to, which is what I don't want to do, I, I can make a fire and boil the water. But if I'm trying to get home, I'm trying to get home. I'm just, you know, not trying to draw attention to myself. Um, I don't feel the need to have fishing kits in here. I'm not spending time stopping and fishing along a stream. I'm getting home. And I think that a lot of times guys stuff these bags with every possible scenario um, or every contingency and that's fine but you have to carry that bag and you have to be able to use uh, realistically use that bag and I think a lot of times in the preparedness community there's practical preparedness and then there's really unpractical preparedness and um, and some could argue that you know to be prepared for everything is the best option but uh, again you have to carry that bag and also this pack what I like about it is there's nothing high dollar in this in this pack. Um, it's you know surplus wool blankets, um, you know cheap binoculars. There's nothing in here that uh, it is in my vehicle, so I don't want it to get stolen. I hope it never gets stolen, but it may get stolen. It's in it's in my vehicle all the time, so that's something else to keep in mind. That uh, don't keep anything in your vehicle that you're not willing to part with. So. In conclusion, check out Hill People Gear, check out this Terra Humara pack, and thanks for watching. Hey, what are you doing up there?